due um, how are right wing uh, parties expected to do in those yeah well look there is wide polling and predictions that this parliamentary election is likely to result in a swing to the right here in Brussels in the European Parliament. Now the question really is just how far right that swing is going to be. The losers are predicted to be the Green Group but also the uh, so centre-left group, the Socialists and Democrats and also the centrist Renew Europe group. But it's important to note that in the European Parliament it's not like some national parliaments where you might have two big parties that face each other off. Instead there are lots of different political groupings right across the political spectrum and that is why what it will really come down to when these elections get going in June of course 27 EU members so really it's 27 different elections overall it's going to be the exact political arithmetic of how they end up because what, what Brussels observers are going to be looking out for is how can these different groups get together to try and get some of a, sort of a majority to pass key pieces of legislation which of course is the European Parliament's job so far what Lou's looking to be the winner according to some big polling is the group of European Conservatives and Reformists. That includes, for example, Georgia Maloney's party, the Brothers of Italy. There's also likely to be a win or gains, at least from the even further right uh, group, which is called Identity and Democracy. That includes, for example, the Alternative for Germany party, but also Marine Le Pen's National Rally from France. They're expected to make some gains. I think what's going to be really interesting is particularly for legislation like climate policies, trying the EU make good on its big climate promises with that predicted right swing that could be more complicated moving forward okay thanks for taking us through that rosie rosie burchard in brussels <laughs> Spain's Canary Islands, one of Europe's most popular holiday destinations, has become the latest hotspot, planning to tighten rules on short-term vacation rentals. Spain welcomed a record 85 million international visitors last year, and tourism accounts for more than 12% of the economy. But many locals say the booming apartment 